burritos. And what I have to view, show you guys today is in here. And I'm guaranteeing you, this is going to be an entertaining video. Because this is technically the end, but I'm filming it for the beginning. <laughs> so, what we're doing today is, as you can hear, good old Matty Matt, a.k.a. Rachel Temptation, is behind the cameras. Hey guys, what's going on? How are we all doing? And he was uh, out of town on a little bit of a vacay, and he uh, went to a mall, and they had a hot shop in it. And he walked in and asked the gentleman behind the counter what was the hottest hot sauce he had in the store because his friend really liked hot sauce and he wanted to rock his socks. So the guy reached behind and gave him this. This is the end flatliner. Spin it a bit. It is absolutely ridiculous. It has a caution label on the back, everything. It's crazy. It is somewhere between two and seven million Scovilles. Um, just give me a second and I'll, I'll give you a, because uh, the ingredients are too small on the bottle for me to read. But, you know, old man. Sorry about that. <laughs> old age gets to you at some point and things like that happen. Come on, open the app. There. And that hot sauce. There it is. And then we also came, came to the realization while we were looking for this that this is actually the hottest version of the end that the Pepper Palace currently carries and makes because it's called Flatliner and the original one is just called the end. And the ingredients in this are as follows. Just read them off. Hello. Okay, ingredients. Reaper peppers. Oleone resin capiscum. Capisacum. Water. Vinegar. Salt, tomato juice, concentrate, ghost peppers, scorpion peppers, seven pot chocolate dula, dula peppers, vitamin C, citric acid, and xan xanthan gum. Comes only in one size, which is one fluid ounce, and is classified as extreme heat. They're not kidding. I will tell you this. If you guys have watched my channel up to this point, I have done many hot sauces. And I will guarantee you, this is the funniest experience you will have, because it is by far the hottest sauce I have ever had. It is the only time I actually had to pause the video to get something to cool down with, because it was unreal. <laughs> Matt actually went to the store and bought milk, and I don't own milk, because I'm lactose. I'm borderline lactose intolerant, so uh, dairy products can kill me or they don't do anything to me. But I was willing to take the chance on milk today because I tried it, as you will see, I tried it off the tip of a uh, metal chopstick. I had it on a Tostitos round. And then, just to be silly and ridiculous, I had it on a taco and I had like three times what a normal person should have put on a taco and ooh, by accident yeah, it, <laughs> it was like there was an air bubble and nothing came out and then all of a sudden instead of like two little tiny drops two like gloops came out right after each other um, and it was rock and roll but I'll leave that all for you guys to watch as it comes up after this enjoy guys we'll talk to you later all right guys so the end here we go we're gonna try it on a taco then I'm going to try it on a, uh, like a plain nacho, and then I'm going to try it by itself. So, it is very viscous, like it is thick as mother, oh look at that, oh that's going to hurt. Oh, that is, that is a serious drop, Raymond. I didn't try to do that. That is a drop, yeah I thought you were going to maybe stick a, a, the end of a spoon in there or something so you could, uh, you know. Alright, 
just gonna smear that sucker around. We're just gonna come in and have a look. Oh, you're brave enough to smear it onto a second taco. Should have watched that red stuff there on top. This brown stuff. That's the end right there. That's the end. It might be the end for Raymond. We're gonna find out today. Uh, we're gonna find out right now. Because I'm biting right into this taco right where the hot sauce is. All right. Because this is, there's only one way to figure this out. Taste test number one, ladies and gentlemen. I can taste it already. <laughs> this is supposed to be. What was the Scoville scale on this uh, sauce? Two to seven million. Jesus. Honestly, it's hot. <laughs> With that get sauce ghost pepper I had, mm -hmm. may have actually been hotter or tasted hotter, but. This is, whoo! <laughs> That's it. That's Let's it. Get boy. into it. I'm going to finish this taco. We're going to get into it. Whoa! All right, slamming it home. be honest I think the sour cream and the oh there it goes Woo. yeah it's hot Woo. remember what I said about the other one mm -hmm. I take that back <laughs> Not even doing anything. <laughs> okay, I gotta go find something. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> oh, nope. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, it's still burning. It's still burning. <laughs> piece of bread <laughs> all right guys so I'm back I'm alive <laughs> but, oh man he went he went and got me milk <laughs> I took two two slices of plain bread and it it's bearable I'm still in burning heat. yeah it's still like I could scrape the top off my tongue I swear to God because <laughs> it feels like hot asphalt that is crazy hot sauce <laughs> Yeah, but now, now next time I will find something, when I try it on a taco and stuff, I'll be able to give you a little bit more of an appropriate, like, drop, like, what it's yeah. compared to another, one of my other sauces that I take by, like, a small amount, because I had, like, almost a teaspoon worth of hot sauce there. <laughs> it came out way too quickly for me, and I, I was just reading up on this, because my roommate was asking about it while I was slowly dying. This is actually hotter than the end. Because it's flatline. This is the end flatliner. It has more peppers in it and more different peppers in it than the end. The end only has scorpion and habanero peppers in it and an extract. Mm. This has ghost, scorpion, habanero, la da 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 You'll know what the you know what it has in it from earlier in the video. But it has the extract as well. So, I mean, I'm now interested just to see what the end tastes like, just out of curiosity, because, I mean, it's not a horrible sauce. It's just got to be taken in very, very cautious amounts. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> wow. It's going to... Okay, so, I don't feel like dying for multiple days in a row, so my good friend, Maddie, who's hiding behind the camera, a.k.a. Rachel Temptation... <laughs> Hi guys! Who's the one that brought me this? 
said, let's go to the store and get some chips so we can do that. And I'm just going to use this to put a little bit on the chips and then... He's wisened up a bit and he's going to dab into the uh, hot sauce bottle. Except then, obviously for the last shot where you're basically just going to stick your finger on the top and, and give her... And then I'm going to lick... Oh, you're going to lick that? I'm going to lick it. Ah. Okay, I see. I see. All right, we got the chip. Ooh, he's got a mini chip. All right. Well, that's what they are, the rounds. That's all they had. Fair enough. I mean, you could just put two together if you want. That'd be the size of a normal tortilla. I will sandwich it. Yeah. Uh, let me double, uh, let me double reshake that. Just. Yeah, give her another shake. I want to watch you stab this sucker. So, it looks like barbecue sauce. It's that thick, guys. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. And like, I don't even need to dunk into the bottle. Cause there's like, a decent coat, right? Actually, maybe I do need to dunk into the bottle. Bloop, bloop. Okay, there's a pretty, pretty decent amount on there actually. Right on. So, and there's still some on there for me to taste afterwards. So, <laughs> dink it and sink it. It's definitely way more subtle this time. <laughs> <laughs> but the last of the chip is gone. And now the heat's starting to slowly pulsate and build. But nowhere near on the scale of the taco. But then again, after the taco, I'm not going stupid with this stuff ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't intend to do that, but what I was going to do, waste the taco or waste the hot sauce, exactly. I waste half my to toppings, so no retreat, no surrender. <laughs> yeah, definitely a different burn, too. This one is more on the bottom of my mouth and the underside of my tongue, mm -hmm. and not so much the roof, tongue, and back of the throat. Okay, so I'm wondering, maybe it's because the salty chip activated the certain different parts of the taste buds on your tongue, which is activating that part of your making like, the to, burn? To be honest with you, there is the mildest of sting on the top of my tongue. Also... But right, on the bottom of my tongue? Yeah, a lot. Oh yeah, it feels more. like somebody turned a cauldron on. Okay. So... Could be your saliva working it around. Yeah, it, it's. I mean, because I mean, with the toppings of the taco, it kind of would have like creamed together, right? Which blended, makes sense so why it could have just t touched the roof of your, roof of your mouth because yeah. the hot sauce went on top of the taco. So, whoo, but yeah, it's still a little. But he's not reaching for the milk today, ladies and gentlemen. No, well, not this time. I'm gonna grab a couple more chips to see if I can just dull that out a little bit before I lick off the end of the. Uh, Mm. Almost gone. So, got a salt. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> Chewing it up. <laughs> Definitely not going to hurt for anywhere near as long as I did before. Well, you've also did a drop compared to. About half a teaspoon. Yeah. All go. right, he's gonna swallow. <laughs> Bear hot sauce on the tongue. Ooh, squeaky Ooh. clean. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <hot. clears throat> it's definitely hot.
but yeah, I mean, it's not ridiculous. Like, it is in really minor quantities, it's not ridiculous. But it's definitely not a sauce you want to try and do a drop work with. Unless you're looking to hurt yourself. <laughs> I mean, I've eaten a lot of hot sauces. I've signed waivers to eat hot sauces in restaurants. That's the hottest by far I've had so far. But it's a civilized and tasty burn. Mm -hmm. Like I can taste the the scorpion peppers. I can taste the the smoke of the habaneros. Like all those all those peppers flavors are there. It's not just like <sighs> my face is on fire. Mm. It does come fairly quickly, but it, it it comes with the taste. Yeah. So it's not just a quick burn. There's yeah, actually it's, flavor it's, behind it's, it. It's not a quick burn. That's definitely for sure. It sticks around for a while. The last, <laughs> the last from the tacos, it lasted for about a good twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I can already feel it subsiding now. But yeah. this has been like close to five minutes since we started this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six fifty, seven minutes. And in. based on what I've been reading as well, from other people that have tried the hot sauce and reviewed it, um, the, yeah, the burn can last from. The average person says about five minutes, and then I've seen I've read comments of people talking about forty-five minutes, where nothing would cool the burn. Like I had a couple of slices of uh, plain bread and uh, the smallest taste of milk, and it was I was absolutely fine. I ate the second taco with very little problems compared to the first one, and the second one was the other one that I put the excess yeah. hot sauce from the first, the first video. One. On. So, it's not a party gift. <laughs> it's not something you put on the table for somebody just randomly to grab. That's also for sure. This is something you leave away unless you are hanging out with people who like super hots. This is a series hot sauce. So, it nice. also it actually says right on the bottle, caution, extreme heat, and they're not kidding. <laughs> so, and it's from uh, the Pepper Palace, which you can get online. They have uh, they have the lighter version of this, which is just called the End, mm -hmm. and it also comes in a slightly bigger bottle. I actually found it at a cute little hot sauce shop in um, Cross Iron Mills Mall when I was in Calgary visiting. So I think it was called Uncle Something's Hot Sauce. It was like Uncle Dave's or Uncle Jim's or Uncle Someone's Hot Sauce. I don't know. Um, Apparently there's one here in Toronto, so we're going to try and figure it out. Yeah. And track it down and... See what else we can dig up. See what else ridiculously hot <laughs> hot sauces they have. Walk in and go, okay, so the end flatliner, I've, I've survived. What else do you have? <laughs> well, all right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The That's... hottest sauce that Raymond has ever tasted. I've been eating hot sauces for in excess of 32 years. I have a pretty decent and high tolerance to hot sauce. And I have had homemade hot sauces by little Caribbean ladies. Uh, my, ne my neighbor down the hall was an Indian lady and she used to bring me hot homemade hot sauces all the time and it's like I couldn't open it in my house if my family was home because they were like, ah, you got that hot sauce, oh my god, it's so, it's so strong. But this? And I'm sure most of you know that this is deadly because of the extracts. Yeah. I mean, if there was no extracts in this, I'm guaranteeing you this hot sauce would be like something you'd throw on, like, a taco. But the extracts is what's 90% of the heat, I'm willing to say, is the extracts. Because mm -hmm. with all that flavor being there, it's just a lot of the heat still got to come from the peppers. Mm-hmm. If not, if not, like maybe eighty percent is extract heat. But whoo wee, that's a definite run from my money. I gotta say thank you for that one, Maddie. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure that's not the last of the wild and 
So, as I was saying, um, sorry, I forgot. This is without the without the extracts. This mm. would definitely be a, a reasonable sauce, and I'm sure as once we figure out the location of the store, we'll find a few more challenging ones. And you're always out there finding wild and crazy things for me. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna call it because I got a nice cold ice cream here, and I want to eat it <laughs> to just cool my whole face down a little bit. Um, thank you for liking, watching, and subscribing. I mean, I'm going to put the link to the Pepper Palace in the uh, descriptors because their website is online, so you yep. can at least get it from them until we figure out what hot pop, what hot store Matt ordered it from. Yep, and we will once we get find that, we will slap that link on there as well for uh, any of you people in Canada looking to try this hot sauce. I'll show you where we got it. Well, here you go. Well, thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. And remember, guys, if you're not a subscriber, turn the button gray. If you like this video. Give her a thumb or Rooney. And if you'd like to know when I have premieres or any news on my channel, don't forget to make the bell ring. And otherwise, don't let the zombies get you. Be nice to each other. Keep yourselves hydrated and enjoy.